Welcome back to Crazy Canuck Trucking Podcast. I appreciate all of you tuning in. And uh, we have a bit of a bonus episode today. As you can hear, it's the Crazy Canucks voice and not uh, Bridget. Uh, We have a bit of time here in between episodes. So I thought I would uh, put out a little bonus. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, National Trucking Week, so remember to thank a trucker. We are out here doing what we need to do. Speaking of that, I'm sitting in Truro Heights, Nova Scotia right now, and uh, been a fantastic trip. I have not been in the Maritimes with a truck before, and I've been just about everywhere else in North America, but um, not in the Maritimes yet with the truck and so it's been really nice to see the amazing scenery that we have here and the people are just absolutely fantastic um, I've been stopping at the Irving Bake Stops and uh, man their staff is just can we import some of them into other places of the country I know the oil fields take a lot of Maritimers but you know this has been this has been really nice and I have some friends around here and uh managed to uh, catch up with a couple of them and it's been really good so you ever want to go to a place where people are just super friendly and just good people then Maritimes is a good place to go so let's get back to business here you know thank you for listening please rate if you're on iTunes or Apple uh, subscribe hit the like button, you know, do whatever you can do, and keep sending in stories. We need to hear stories. We want to pass them on to all of our listeners because this is what we do. We talk about mental health and we tell stories. And so the reason there's a little bit of time between our uh, episodes is we are setting up an episode number eight and we have a very special guest and um, I'm gonna tell you about it our very special guest is none other than Jesse James Dupree that has put the song together it didn't fall from the sky and uh, was really gracious enough to allow us to set up an interview with him so we'll be doing that uh, soon and really looking forward to that when he hears thoughts on uh, trucking in the background of the story and whatnot. So it's really, that's really cool. Really, really awesome that we could get him on there. And um, yeah, Trucker T. Trucker T has sent in a little story and I'm going to talk about that right now. Um, so he sent us to uh, our Gmail, crazyconucktruckin at gmail.com. That's where you send all your comments and stories. Crazyconucktruckin.com at crazyconucktruckin at gmail.com. Do not put a G on the end of truckin because there is no G at the end of truckin. Crazyconucktruckin. So there's a this is a really cool idea. He, he sent us a, uh, a picture and he's got four teddy bears in there. And he says, top of the day, Bridget and Dave. You're maybe thinking why this crazy newfie sending a pic of stuffed animals and a teddy bear. Well, there's a story why I have them in my semi. July 1990, I would go on trips with a buddy of mine and we came across an accident father mother and a four-year-old the van had rolled and the four-year-old boy was laying in the back seat not buckled up so he got badly injured 30 years later I can still picture that little boy laying on the side of the highway so I carry stuffed animals in my semi just in case I ever come across an accident again when there is children 
and hopefully a teddy bear will bring a smile to their face. My stepdaughters call me Ters, I hope I pronounced that right, or Tears, Tears, so I named my teddy bears Tears Bears for Tears. So that was the story and he says stay safe and remember for every mile of road there's two miles of ditch and uh, that's very true. So I'm glad Trucker T hasn't seen another accident with children for a long time. Um, that is something that is tough to see. Uh, I've been there, seen a lot of crashes in my miles on the road. And um, it shows you the heart, heart of uh, this man. It's really, really good. So. I think that's a great idea and I think I may end up I think I'm gonna adopt that myself I, I have seen cops and other first responders that will have um, will have teddy bears or something to give to children and you know I didn't really think about that myself um, and so I I think that's a great idea I met with uh, Ken Carpenter from uh, one of our early episodes, earlier episodes. Um, he is a retired truck driver and former military man. And um, it's really good to catch up with him and see his lovely life, wife, Lon boy, first day with a new tongue. Really nice to see him and his wife, Wanda, and um, we were looking back and we found the video of when uh, Ken proposed to Wanda up at a uh, little lounge or restaurant up in Fort McMurray, Alberta. And uh, here we are visiting at his place down in Nova Scotia. It's really cool to see him. Wanda's a fantastic person who has really helped out Ken. And uh, so I, I unloaded here in uh, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. I'll be heading back uh, probably later today, heading back west. There's not much further east I can go. I would like to go a little bit more east, go to PEI or go to one of the other islands or something. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen. The freight rates aren't the greatest from here, so I'll... Uh, probably bounce towards uh, towards the western part. It's weird to call Ontario west when it's always east for me. So uh, probably bounce towards there. And that's a little bit of trucker slang. When we say we're going to bounce somewhere, then that means that we're, we, are, um, we are running empty. There's other slang words for that as well. You're going to bounce somewhere uh, if you're taking just the uh, just the truck and uh, no trailer then that's bobtail uh, there's other comments we're hauling a load of sailboat fuel so if uh, somebody tells you uh, if you see a crash and there's a truck there and he says he has a load of sailboat fuel on don't worry about it because sailboat fuel is air is wind there's other terms as well that aren't quite as nice, so we'll just leave it at that for now. And um, what other what other slang should I come up with today? So another bit of slang that we use when we're driving is the coops are open. What is a coop? You know, a chicken coop is what they're saying. The chicken coops are open, and um, you know, I have never really looked into the um, background of why it's called a chicken coop. But um, it's the weigh stations, the scales where the uh, inspectors are checking our ground pressure, which is weight. So the amount of pressure we put on the ground uh, is another slang. We call it ground pressure. See what our ground pressure is and uh, make sure we're not getting any... Uh, coupons 
because you don't want coupons in this industry because coupons are another slang for tickets so I've thrown a whole bunch of uh, different things at you here now so there'll be a test in the morning yeah, okay just kidding I'm not gonna make a test for you but anyway um, yeah I'm gonna be I'll probably be hauling some sailboat fuel uh, going towards the West Ontario uh, or somewhere wherever the boss says and um, I'll be passing through chicken coops where I'll be checking my ground pressure and I'll be doing my best to make sure I don't get any coupons and because uh, coupons usually cost us money we don't get money for coupons in trucking you know if we get okay there's one good coupon we can get if we get inspected and we get a clean bill of health for the truck and trailer and the driver uh, we get a little sticker on our windshield so if you ever see a little sticker with a, a one or a zero usually just a single digit it'll have one corner torn off which signifies the quarter of the year it was in and um, there will be a different color uh, I can't remember why there's different colors but um, you get a sticker on your window and on the front so it'll be on the window on the driver on the passenger side in the right front corner and on the trailer on the right front corner passenger side corner of the trailer if you have a trailer with that on and a truck with that on the inspectors know that you've been you've been um, you've been inspected and everything looks good and so you're good to go and a lot of places if you um, you'll have a safety bonus at work you can turn that into the office and uh, They'll see that uh, clean bill of health for the truck and trailer and the driver. And some companies will pay you for a good experience like that, uh, which is really nice. That's the only coupon you really want to have is the one that says, we've been inspecting <clears throat> and everything looks great. So that one is worthwhile. And talking about way stations, chicken coops, every time we get inspected, there's a record of that and most times when we're rolling through a chicken coop it's it's noting us it's letting it's letting the authorities know that this truck is pulled through and that um, ground pressures were good the weight was good and so they keep track of these things it's like your driver's license you get a ticket from a cop it goes against your driver's license. We have the, exactly the same thing in trucking. We have uh, um, sorry, I'm just losing. Uh, oh, what is it called? Anyway, the company's record. We are so if they if they have good ones, that helps a little bit but not very much unfortunately if they have bad ones it really hurts bad so as long as they are getting all good ones we're all good so you need to keep going and getting uh, it's actually a good thing to get inspected and to get that clean bill of health so then you can uh, turn it over to your company and they'll all already have known about it anyway so um, it really helps out your carrier rating safety profile there we go I knew it come to me eventually so they call different things in different places but the safety rating is a good general term you want to have a safety rating that's very high I won't work for a company that doesn't have a good safety rating because I do not want to be getting in trouble with cops it usually says there's a reason why this company isn't very good and it reflects in their reflects in their safety rating 
So it's best to stay away from places like that. I've been at those places because that's the way trucking is. I needed experience at the time and I didn't have a lot of choice. And it is not fun, I can tell you that. You get pulled in at every chicken coop along the way and they're doing more than just checking ground pressure. They're going to look through your comic book, which was the uh, old paper logs, and uh, now it's ELDs, and they're going to be looking through everything every time, and that is just, it's not fun getting that done, you know, but anyway, I'm fortunate to be where I'm at. So I am going to call it a day here. And uh, hopefully you all have enjoyed this uh, bonus episode. And um, remember to please rate us if you can, like us, um, send us comments, crazycanucktruckin at gmail.com. And uh, stay tuned. One more thing. One more thing. I almost forgot about this. Episode 10 episode 10 we really need some questions to come in because on episode 10 it's going to be a very special episode we're going to have uh shell uh we are going to have sylvia marusic she's a uh an activational speaker uh she's the person that has helped save my life and um she has been willing to come on and we're going to have a whole episode talking about how to handle things on the road. And whether you're on the road or at home, the stuff that uh, Sylvia is going to have for us, it it's going to translate into everything. So be sure to take a listen. That'll be episode 10. So we're giving a little bit of a heads up for that. And um, we are going to... it's. We already have a couple of questions that have come in. Trucker T has sent in uh, a question. And thank you very much for Trucker T. And uh, I'll have some others from different people as well. And I, we actually have a few already. So really looking forward to that. We got some good things coming ahead in all these episodes. Dealing with mental health and just generally stories. You know, talk about fun things. So... Y'all have a great day. Be safe out there. And as uh, Trucker T says, there's two miles of ditch for every mile of road.